The, uh, the, uh, so, so let me go with this notion that's a key part of the pivot. You know, so halt the programs that aren't working, fix what we've got so we can fight tonight, and then pivot to a new approach. That pivot really didn't come out in the last session, so I want to hit bang on it real hard. Because the, the key underpinning of it is this notion of adapt and buy. And we got a little hung up on our joint and our salt partners in that. But it's, we know as an army, we will never be able to compete with the IT explosion that has happened out there. Nor should we, right? So how do we ride industry's coattails so that we can bring new and emerging capabilities or mature capabilities into the force in, a, in an efficient and effective manner where it fits, right? So that's that notion of adapt and buy, right? We only want to be spending our, our precious R&D dollars on those military unique things that industry doesn't have to worry about, you know? You know high, high level encryption for our most classified networks, things along that line, as a, as a very simple objective. And then adapt what industry and our joint partners and our soft partners have to Army uses. So, so that's one. So industry is a key part of the pivot. When you take a look at what we're doing with this EFB conversion, it is all about what industry has offered to other folks in the community that has proven that we're just merely adopting and we're, and we're adapting it to what our structure and our mission needs to be and we're rapidly getting it into a formation because it fits. Now, to the second part of yours, you heard General Gallagher and General Bassett start talking about these tech exchange meetings. Very, very important that industry pays a part to that because that's where the engagements are started. Right now, there's been two. They will eventually get much more um, um, predictable. It's the right word. It's the word I was searching for, so I apologize. Much more predictable, so that industry has that touch point. Industry always has their touch points with our PMs, and industry always has their touch points with our trade-off capability managers, right? And, and if you don't know who they are, I will very definitely make sure that by the end of this conference we flash all those names up, so you know who to be reaching out to. But the tech exchange meetings is where we have that open dialogue with our industry partners, so we can talk about and figure out, you know, it's an overused word, but it, it's true because you know much more about what's in the art of the possible than somebody in a green suit. But, but, but I gotta bang on the notion one more time of this adapt and buy. You know, our biggest problem, Morrison's very candid professional opinion was we were trying to develop network capabilities. That was a fool's errand, right? We need to adopt what industry is doing, leverage it, experiment with it, quite frankly, things that may not quite fit, just to see what it will do for us, because that may open up a whole new venue for us. And, and quite frankly, that is something that our joint, or excuse me, our soft partners have right. They, they are willing to take something, experiment with it, and then throw it in a circular file if it doesn't work, or go ahead and put it, to, put it into, adapt it, and bring it into their formation to the desk. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Thank you. Another a question for the schoolhouse.